Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. You have a big week ahead of you this week. The sun moves into Aquarius, like now, right? <laughs> okay, so what I got for you guys, I do... Um, the psychic stuff before I get into the tarot. For those of you where this is your first Ned Leading experience, I picked up pole dancing classes. Doesn't have to be classes, could just be pole dancing. I got um, finances, actually. I got something about your day to day, like you could have lost or let go of or got fired from, like a day job. Something that's not really, it's not your career, it's not your profession, it's not what you want to be known for in the outer world for the rest of your life. It's not, it's just like, oh, I ended my, I ended up, I ended my job at Starbucks. I ended my job at the retail store. I ended my job um, working construction. I ended, like whatever was not really center for you, like kind of offshoot, or maybe you even took like a holiday gig and that's ending or that came to an end. Okay, but I feel like it came to an end. I feel like there's an ending there. I also feel a lot of you working through a lot of inner turmoil, trauma type stuff, different things for all of you, but it feels patriarchal. All right, we're going to do a pre-shuffle and then I'm going to get the cards down and then we're going to go into the extended. So we're going to get some good context for the situation and... Um, See what narrowy, narrowy, narrow, narrow. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? I think you did. Fancy, fancy coming out in your own reading Aquarius with the Aquarian card. Um, wow. I'm going to take all of these, but let me just give me a moment so they can tell me how they want them down. Okay. I feel like this is all you. Okay, this is how they want them down. Okay, so it's like this. The star crossed by the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Seven of Swords, and then we have the Lonely Lone Hermit over here. Okay, so this is the deal this week, Aquarius. You have an amazing potential. You could have a job offer come through, a career opportunity come to the front door, something that is very exclusive, that is only you can provide. No one else in the entire world on this planet can do this job the way you can do it, can do this thing the way you can do it, can do this, it could be a relationship, it could be an engagement, a proposal, something where you are being offered some participation, some position, something where you're valued for who you are on an individual level, okay? That's like what's coming through this week. Now, with this incredible change in fortune, it's gonna be like from zero to hero with this wheel of fortune, you feel like it's too good to be true. You feel like someone's trying to take you for a ride. You feel like someone, something, somewhere is just too off. It's, it, it doesn't add up. So that's why we have the hermit over here is that you're gonna have to go inward. You're gonna have to go within and really figure this out and really discern for yourself what this is and, and is it honest and is it real and is it, now we do have the six of saves at the bottom of the deck. So that would indicate that it's good to go. Okay, so this is really exciting. It's really strange because sometimes the um, the pre-shuffles last like 10 minutes, like the whole reading, and then sometimes it's like a minute. So that's interesting. So let's go ahead and get the real cards down. We're shuffling for, or the Couch Across cards down. We're shuffling for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Otherwise, for this week, oh, I didn't even tell you the week, the 20th to the 27th. Wait, wait a minute. Yes, I was correct. The 20th to the 27th. I have to write down so I do not forget. Okay. <sighs> Two more shuffles. One. Two. That was a good one. Okay, here we go. I'm going to cut the deck. There we go. Cards are cooked. Let's see what we got here for you this week. Whoa. Holy shit. Aquarius, you're going to have some someone out here is having a freaking fire week with this 
sun moving into Aquarius, new moon in Aquarius. Someone's really taking life by the balls and just like running with it. Like just really, really, um, wow. I mean, really impressive. And then the bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords, the page of swords, and then, wow, again, the six of staves. Okay. Wow. 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 That's really cool, Aquarius. This is really cool. I'm going to use my right radiant wise for my second layer. <gasps> okay. We have counterparts on the table too. The king and the queen of pentacles. There's some stability here. There's actual, something could have fallen apart over the holidays, Aquarius. And I want you to know that it's okay. It's okay. You could have lost a father. You could have lost your family. You could have, it feels sort of familial with that Capricorn cancer eclipse energy, but you're going to pull, you're pulling through like crazy crazy well you're going to be taking some risks taking some chances this thing looks to be really legit too this offer coming to you it's going to make you feel free it's going to make you feel more independent it's going to make you feel like you can really um like you have more options thank you wow okay i just cut the deck and now we're putting them down Oh my. Something has you really excited this week, Aquarius. Let me get the bottom. Oh my God. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. We have the Two of Cups and the Sun. Yeah, I picked that up already. We have something this week giving you so much happiness and so much faith and just hope. There's something good coming for you this week, Aquarius. It's just, it's relationship. It's work. It's it's life like life is moving forward and it's interesting because you it's like you could have just felt like zero like everything that you just lost okay there's like a psychological or subconscious or familial even with the, just like a job or some there's some loss but this is like you're making up for it very very fast you're progressing really really quickly through whatever this loss is okay so in the far past we have the eight of staves with the queen of pentacles so this doesn't have to be too distant it can be distant though i'll leave it up to you um but with the eight of staves and the queen of pentacles we have a lot of thinking i'm getting a lot of like telepathic psychic downloads like you're just really you're, you're trying to figure out how to run your life you're trying to figure out how you want it run what you want to change what you want to add subtract you know, how to manage your finances. Maybe you want to afford something new. Maybe you want to afford to start a new business. Maybe you want to, you know, make some different moves in different directions and you're trying to figure out how do I do it? How do I make it work with what I've got? Okay. Now in the recent past, as you move into this week, it's sort of dominated by masculine energy. And for some of you, they're telling me this is your energy. So just take it as it resonates. We have the Kings of Pentacles and Wands here. So passion, entrepreneurial spirit with practicality and groundedness. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, that makes sense. So that is really your energy. So you're channeling some really wonderful entrepreneurial, enterprising, and most of all, confident energy, Aquarius. So you're really projecting your energy outward, okay? Whereas feminine energy, it's all inward. It's all like self-nurturing and magnetic. And that's why it's more attractive. It attracts to the feminine. But what you're using here is your masculine energy. So you are actually being able to laser out and sh go after what you want, which is lovely. So you can be thinking about something, um, a business, and it really feels very businessy this week. Um, or just, you know, you could be interacting with these energies as well. <sighs> there could be someone around you inspiring you and encouraging you and really putting you up to be, to be able to complete these energies. Because we do have the Empress here, which is very feminine. And it's about, like I said, attracting all of this beautiful abundance, attracting the light and the sun and the relationship. So there's a really nice balance here. Okay, in the meat of the week, what we start off with is the Page of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is that really independent, 
strong, secure person. It doesn't have to be female, but it's someone who has their home, their vehicle, their, um, their career, their identity, their savings, their goals. Like everything is really in its place here. And with the Page of Pentacles, you're studying how to get there. How do I do that? And even in the distant past, showing up as a Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is like, this could be a friend around you too or someone around you where you're watching them and you're learning from them and you're either communicating with them or something online. It could be someone you watch on like YouTube. Like I watch um, Parisian Farm Girl on YouTube and she's so Queen of Pentacle for me. She's a homesteader and she runs her business from her computer at home and she has like 10 kids and she homeschools them all and she grows her own food and it's like this intense um really really queen of like she just comes off really queen of pentacles to me anyway so you could be watching someone like that and and really kind of figuring out how they do it and the meat of the week is you studying how to do it for your own life how to make that for your own self and whatever that means to you okay crossing that energy we have the chariot and the fool so i feel like this opportunity comes right at the time when you are ready to jump you are so ready. You're like, you know what? I've been thinking of how I'm going to live this independent, self-secure life. And then here the energy of this opportunity comes in and it's like the right moment because you already know the what and the, like all the details of how you want it to be so that the next thing was the how, but you already have the what. So now the how comes in for you this week in this really majestic sort of fashion. It could be very unexpected. Like that chariot is very, very fast very very fast so it could be um a, you have to make a decision and that's why you know in the pre-shuffle that hermit was there it's like this is too good to be true this is happening to it could be happening too fast for you aquarius where you don't trust it where you're like this has to be too good to be true i, I gotta think about it okay um i'm gonna leave this here if this is really resonating with you as far as and i would say take a look at this so if you have been trying to get everything together and organize if you had um, dealt with a loss recently, like maybe December till now, um, I would go ahead and check out the extended and see where this goes. Otherwise, my dear Aquarius, I will see you next week for your next weekly reading. Have a great week, Aquarius, and happy birthday. Bye. So you recognize that this has totally captured your heart. Getting more information, having those honest communications about this, whatever this is, is going to help assuage those fears. Okay, so there's a new relationship of building that you have at the by the end of the week, Aquarius. So it's not too good to be true. Not at all. 